worldwide. Now, this has been acknowledged with the broker regulations and it's been acknowledged by the IRS. Taxpayers, according to how the Form 1099-DA is going to be filed and according to the IRS, are going to have to default to using the FIFO accounting method, which is first in, first out accounting method. The only time you can use specific identification is if you can specify which units of a digital asset that you're selling. And this has to be done at the time of the sale date. You know, if you've been purchasing Ethereum over five years, purchases that you made in different tax lots, you could have put those in different wallets to segregate the call spaces associated with each one of those purchases. So this is going to be a huge issue. And um, the IRS is aware of it. That's why they've come out with Revenue Procedure 2024-28. This was issued with the final regs and it's provide, going to provide transitional rules for tax player, taxpayers who previously applied this multi-wallet approach for determining tax lot sold. So this is 2004-28 is going to be something that um, is, 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 is released on July 27, 2024.